Hey, welcome to another segment with the Chiropractic Source. I'm Dr. Marco Ferrucci, and today I want to go over uh, a specific maneuver that we do with patients that have sense of vertigo or dizziness in when their head is in certain positions. It's actually called BPPV, which actually stands for Benign Paroxysmal Positional Vertigo. A lot of people sometimes complain that when their head is in certain positions, especially in a lying position, so lying in bed or lying on the couch and they move their head, they get a sense of dizziness, like their body's moving even though it's not. Um, that's actually a telltale sign that you might have that test or a positive for that test. And there's actually a certain test that we're going to do today called the Dix Hall Pike Maneuver. That is actually going to tell us if you have this BPPV. So what exactly is going on with BPPV is we have these, this fluid that is in our inner ear that's in our semicircular canals and our horizontal canals that actually tells your body and your head where it is in space. With those fluids, there's also crystals that are going through that as well. Sometimes the crystals can get locked up into the canal and that could be causing this, um, this sensation or this feeling of dizziness when you're not supposed to. So the test that we're gonna do, and I'm gonna demonstrate on Dr. Tim here, is we're gonna show you what the test of Dick's Hall Pike looks like. So what we do is we have a person sit in a position where they're facing away from us. And what, you're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn their head in a 45 degree direction towards the right and the left. So we're gonna do, for uh, demonstration purposes, his left side. So what we're gonna do is after that, we're gonna have him bring his body back and we're gonna have his head extended slightly off of the bed like this. And what we're looking for is we're looking to see, number one, if he gets a sense of dizziness. If he does, that would be a positive for that test. We're also going to check to see if his eyes have a flutter. It's called nystagmus. If his eyes are fluttering, that is also a positive for that test. If he feels no sensation and all he feels is just his head is back, then that's actually a negative for this test, and he doesn't have the BPV in that side. So I'm going to have him sit back up. And then what we would do is we would check the opposite side. So let's say this side, he said he does feel dizziness. Well, just to make sure, we're going to check the opposite side. So we're going to go to the right here, and we're going to come back like this. Again, letting his head slightly extend off the bed. And again, we're going to say, you know, do you have any dizziness? Or we're going to look at his eyes, see if he's got that nystagmus. Let's say he feels nothing on this side. Well, that's a negative for this side. So we know based on what we figured out here, left side, he was positive for that BPBV and right side he was negative. So we're gonna sit him back up. And now I'm gonna show you what is called the repositioning move, which is called Epley's Maneuver. The Epley's Maneuver is actually the maneuver that you reset the canals and it actually gets the fluid to dislodge that crystal. So what we do is we do the same position. We turn his head to the left, we come back like this, except the difference with the actual repositioning maneuver is we hold his head there for 30 to 60 seconds. Now, sometimes people can feel dizzy while they're doing this, and all you have to do is just tell them that in, in five to 10 seconds, you're gonna feel that dizziness go away. So just trust me, and then usually within the five to 10 seconds, they feel a lot better. So we hold that there for 30 to 60 seconds, then we slowly take his head and we rotate it very slowly to the opposite direction. And we go 45 degrees to that side. And we do that again for 30 to 60 seconds, then the next maneuver is for him to go on that same side shoulder. So he's gonna turn his body on that shoulder. So turn your body on that side. And then you're gonna slightly turn the head a little bit more down towards the floor. And you're gonna do that for 30 to 60 seconds. And then the last position is he's gonna bring his legs forward and he's gonna go into a seated position like this. And he's gonna sit there for 30 to 60 seconds. That's what's called the Epley's maneuver. So we have the Dix Hall Pike test, and then to reposition it or to correct it, we do an Epley's a repositioning test. And we've seen some dramatic results with people that have had dizziness for weeks to months to years um, when they're in this position. And we do this maneuver once, maybe twice, and the symptoms are diminished. So this is a really powerful maneuver. Um, and we've done it on many people and have gotten some great success. If you have any other questions or any comments about this test, uh, please be, feel free to reach out to us on our social media, um, The Chiropractic Source on Facebook. You could email us. Um, you could give a call to our office. I mean, we're here to be a support for you.